Something you may not think about in the summer is your car gets really hot and your amps don't like heat, your sub don't like heat. So how do you prevent the heat? This seems like something incredibly obvious, but I don't really see anybody doing it. And it's also good for just kind of general day to day as I'm going to demonstrate in my daily driver. So this is my daily uh, Mercedes ML63 AMG. And what I'm gonna show you works in every vehicle universally. We are going to take the temperature inside. You can see it says 91 degrees. The dash, 140, 145. Then we're at 150. The seat, 137. 100 degrees down here on the floor. You know, air temperature's around 90 degrees. So what I am going to do is put this in. So we slide that out, we take this off, and we have what's basically an umbrella window shield. And uh, we're going to try this out and see what kind of difference it makes. Or I kind of already know it's going to make a big difference. We're going to see exactly the difference that it makes with the temperatures after a few hours. And uh, I will also tell you how to get a discount on this one. It was sent to me uh, to review and you can get a discount on it. So I'm going to show you how this whole thing works and installs and then we'll see what kind of results we get after a few hours. Uh, the temperature you see in here now, uh, the car has been sitting here in the sun for about, I don't know, 30 minutes. It's nice and sunny out so we should see a difference here pretty soon. So like I said, this opens up just like an umbrella. There is an a right side up which you can tell because it changes shape here a little bit uh, now in this car um, the windshield's pretty steep we've got the console up here uh, so we do have to deal with that but we can work around the mirror and all that stuff because that's right there put our visor down and there we go it's in place we're going to come back in uh, some amount of time. I'll keep an eye on the clock. Let's know exactly what we're looking at uh, heat wise in here. Then we'll take it out for the same amount of time and see what happens. Uh, it is worth noting that uh, I do not have the front windows tinted. So we do get some sun in there and I'll make sure that the uh, sunroof shade is also closed. Uh, right now the camera is stuck to it. Uh, but we're going to come back in some amount of time here and uh, see what kind of difference we get. All right, you can see it's uh, kind of overcast periodically, but the sun is out a lot of the time. It has been one hour. We're going to open this up, see what our dash and seat temperatures look like. 113, 114 on the seat, 130 on the dash. So. In one hour, we're 25, 30 degrees lower on the dash. Uh, outside temperature is now 95 degrees. Heat index is over 100. So we've got a significant decrease. Down here on the floor, even 101, it was 100 before. So it did not go up in sitting in the sun for an hour. So I'm going to take this back out, let it sit in the sun for an hour without this and see what our temperatures look like. All right, so it has been one more hour and we're gonna see what kind of difference the Landmoto windshield sunshade made. Opening it up. And 168 degrees, 165, 122, 
107. So even in the shaded parts of the car, we're still 10 degrees hotter. Around the seat is much hotter. We've got air temperature that's quite a bit hotter in here. As soon as I open it up, felt hot air come out. Uh, and the dash is way, way hotter. So anything you have on the dash is not going to survive that. Uh, this is one hour that uh, that we've experienced with it being in the shade versus not with big temperature differences. If you let this in here all day, it's going to be that much hotter. So what does that mean in the end? Well, you could start your car up and your amps might go and protect as soon as you start the car, get in and turn it on. It can get that hot in there. You know, we're seeing 170 degree temperatures in here. It's not that hot. Yeah, it's, it's over 90 degrees uh, out here now. We do have even hotter days here. Um, there are days we're in high 90s and in the hundreds. So we can get even hotter. That can cause problems with the amps, especially if you're gonna start beating on them. The subs are gonna be super hot. That means they're not cooling as well. Your power handling is reduced. So having a shade on your windshield and tinted windows, which I need to do the ones on the front, uh, but having all that in place is going to make your stuff last longer, work better, and most importantly, perform at all when you get in the car. So this sun shield uh, that I have in here, click the link below and that will give you $10 off this same one that I'm using. Super easy to use, just like an umbrella. It just pops right out, locks in place, and there you go. You have got it. You could also use it to shade yourself because, you know, it's shade. So there are multiple uses for this, but it is uh, reflective on one side, dark on the other for use in your car. And what I like about this one over many of the other ones, like the kind you see that are like the paper ones that fold out, uh, this one, after you fold it up, has a little case and you can put it in your glove box. The giant ones uh, that go top to bottom just kind of fold up uh, one direction. You can't do that with those. This one you can. Another fine point is with this installed, you can't see inside the car at all. So it's also a security feature. I've been using mine every day since they sent it to me. And it's the difference in my car being tolerable when I get in it. Uh, and not being tolerable. It makes a huge difference after it's been sitting here in the sun all day. So click the link below, get your $10 off and enjoy it.